Hello, my name is John Pagano. I am an abstractionist, a contemporary artist, living and working in Central Mass for the past 30 years. I've been in my ever-expanding studio for about five years. As my studio has grown, so has my discipline. Today I would like to show you my studio gallery and what has led me to the place where I am today. My studio is in a traditional mill building in Worcester, which I share with other painters and sculptors and multimedia artists. In 2017, I was selected to be the initial artist participating in the Central Mass Artist Initiative at the Worcester Art Museum. My work was hung in the contemporary gallery along with some of my heroes. Having been chose to launch the program was an honor and a boost in my career regarding confidence and validation. For this, I thank Nancy Burns and the entire WAM staff for the opportunity. This 70 by 70 inch painting done in acrylic <clears throat> is entitled Infatuation, A Place to Go. It's an aquatic retreat utilizing personal symbols that can represent a fantasy, a dream of love and lust. My paintings are visual poetry. This painting, Infatuation 2, was done on acetate, painted on two sides, suspended with grommets. Color, motion, and leading the viewer's eye through the work has always been an important factor in my painting. However, after being coined a colorist, I chose to use black and white only for artistic and personal reasons. Black and white presents different issues of form and space. Mark making is different. This went on for about a year and a half, and then I returned to color once again. My black and white paintings are a response to the world we live in today. I am a disillusioned optimist. I guess I try to reflect a broken, off-kilter world of broken systems and in inequities. I remain hopeful and sometimes paint to cheer myself up, not just to solve my problems. Materials have always been a primary interest to me. I like to experiment with materials which I am in constant search of. I like to use oil and acrylics, powdered graphite, sailcloth, canvas, sheet wood, aluminum, dry pigments, blotter paper, acetate, books of printed pages, high absorbency, industrial templates, magnets, whatever gets the message across. Someone once asked me to describe what my studio meant to me in the first thing that came to my mind was oxygen. It's experimentation with no rules, a completely free and open platform. I have learned to not question, but to submit and to trust that I am doing what I am supposed to be doing. Do not ask questions. You cannot be creative and analytical simultaneously. I've exhibited it locally at the Worcester Art Museum, Fitchburg Art Museum, Arts Worcester, the Davis Gallery, and the Sprinkler Factory. Even though I begin my paintings or my poems, if you will, with an idea, a feeling, or an attitude, I don't like to describe the pictures in depth or to tell people what they are about. I like the idea of people bringing their own story to it, for them to delve into their own subconscious and bring what they will to it. Whatever we bring into the cave, we take out. Quite frequently, my paintings have stopped before they look representational, hoping that the viewer will fill in the blanks and figure it out for themselves. I like to leave my paintings open-ended. I like to suggest, but not direct. I've learned to trust my instincts when I paint. The painting directs me, not the other way around. Earlier work was made up of smaller marks, that make the painting speed increase. My newer series is a direct result. Subconsciously, the mark making became larger, harder edged, and more detailed, which has slowed the speed of the picture as the virus has slowed our lifestyle. 
in a series called On Becoming, a rather personal series, I experimented with the idea of the internal workings of our body and how disease controls it and will initially take over. Drip paintings at a certain amount of risk and unknowingness to my work. There's a lot of room for accidents, which are welcome. Very rarely I plan out my pictures. They take a life of their own. They go in their own direction. I don't question it. Like children, they develop, and they must survive in the world alone. Interference paint is something that I enjoy using, a paint that reflects light through colored prisms that are embedded into the medium. This painting is called Power Lines in the Countryside. This picture is considered to be under the roller coaster, led up to my current focus, more or less a poem of lying on the grass underneath a shaking and rattling carnival ride. I consider, and I think of all my work as a signature series. I chose that title because of the way I approach my work. When I sign my name, it is in a flash of time with no thought, done intuitively without question. Even though this repetitive mark making, if you will, carries a plethora of subconscious information, which we unconsciously reveal. My paintings are the same, slowly changing over time, revealing much. During Corona, the speed of my paintings has slowed way down. Earlier work with small marks, moving very fast. A whirlwind of storm. My newer work is more hard edged. This picture on Dacron, I tried to incorporate all the techniques I learned and tried to bring them all in at once while understanding the danger of doing so. I scumbled transparency, drip, action lines, and risk. This slowed down picture is a direct result of the coronavirus. More detailed, slower, worked on more as though there's no place to go. My world has slowed way down as everybody else has during this period. Constructed canvases or shaped canvases represent a further delve into motion on a static plane. I wanted to try and make the paint marks jump from one section of the painting to another, further enhancing the movement of the piece. This painting, reclining figure, I believe is a successful piece. For me, it is about paint, moving it. My newer drawings are done on paper, such as this. One, I use a clear acetate over my initial frozen gesture, if you will, drawing, and I put a clear acetate over it to create another layer of movement, of color, of a static image, and more depth. Sculpture is something that I've done more and more of as of late. Trying to have the materials reflect the paintings. One voice, one picture. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Please stay safe and visit the museum frequently. Thank you.